It's rookie right-hander Brandon Fought, who was out there tonight in the series finale. Brandon Fought still looking for that first major league win. We've watched him make steady progress over his first 10 career starts. 286, 15 homers, 42 runs batted in for Kim. He had his 16-game hitting streak come to an end in last night's game. Lines it to left field. That's a base hit. Headed towards the corner. Back is Carroll to get it. But Kim into second base, standing with a leadoff double. Fernando Tatis Jr., the DH last night, back in right field today. He's got four hits in the series. And he will bloop on shallow center. That's going to fall for a base hit. Here comes Kim around. Throw will come playward. It is cut off. Throw to second and safe is Fernando as the Padres take a 1 0 lead. That was fast. Well, Tatis with the bloop single to center turns it into two and scoring from second base is Kim and that'll bring up Juan Soto and got him looking Soto flips the bat now just realizing he'd been called out on strikes one out and Fernando at second base here is Manny Machado and now you realize a pitcher you really have to pay attention to Tatis with one out he'll be trying to get to third base Fernando takes off huge jump pitch inside no throw from Herrera so Fernando with his 19th steal of the year he's only been caught twice Fott didn't pay much attention to it, and the momentum allowed him just to keep going. He still third without a throw. Machado lines it to left field. That's a fair ball headed towards the corner. From third, Tatis will score. Machado into second base with an RBI double, and the Padres out to a 2-0 lead. That is a changeup that leaks middle in. And what does that do for me? He stays back on that nice. He gets the hands through to the pull side and adding on. 0-2 oh on Bogarts. One upstairs with a fastball. Second strike out for Brandon Clark. Two down in the first with Machado at second base and Jake Cronenworth coming up. And a ground ball by the mound up the middle. Diving and not getting it is Marte. Round from second base comes Machado and the Padres take a 3 0 lead. RBI single for Jake Cronenworth. On the mound for the Padres is Seth Lugo. He gave up eight runs in three and a third and a 13 to seven loss to the Dodgers on Monday. Looking to bounce back today. Carroll 0 for 3 in his career against Lugo. A breaking ball is ripped fair down the line and right. Edge to bases. Into the corner. Tatis over to get it. Gets away from him. Carroll's going to get to third rather easily. And he turns third. He hangs on there with a leadoff triple. A triple for Corbin. That's his sixth of the year. So he's a third for Cattell Marte. Now you got to get him in, though. And the Diamondbacks have had problems in this area during this skid that they've been in. And a ground ball to first. That's fair. Knocked down by the first baseman Cooper, but no play. Carroll scores. And Marte's got an infield hit. Cooper made a heck of a play to keep that from being at least a double. Well, a run already back for the D backs on a couple of hits. Three to one. So Marte at first, and now Tommy Pham sets a bounding ball. Touching second, firing to first. Double play. Cronenworth needed that. And there's two quick outs. Opposite field and right at Fernando who will make the catch in right field to end the inning. Arizona here trailing 3-1 in the second inning. We'll have men on first and second, one out for the number eight hitter. The switch hitting catcher, Jose Herrera. 2-2 swing and a foul tip held by Sanchez. Strike three and the first strikeout of the afternoon for Seth Lugo. Perdomo swings and misses strike three. Had him way out in front of the curve, brought him down to a knee, and two men left on base to one out single here in the top of the third. And Jake Cronenworth with an RBI single in the first coming back up. And an ugly half swing from Cronenworth. He's down on strikes, whipping breaking ball hard and in. That stays fair at third. Nice high hop for Jays Peterson. And Brandon Ford is out of the third. So the Padres with a golden opportunity to add to their 3 to 1 lead here in the fourth inning. Craig Grisham, the batter. One, two, swing and a miss. And Grisham down on strikes. That's a big strikeout for Fott. The one, two. And Kim takes strike three on the corner. And another strikeout for Fott. That was an excellent pitch. I mean, he dotted a fastball. Deep to center, Alec Thomas backing up. He's got room in front of the warning track. And they strand that leadoff double. Nice job by Brandon Fott. Nobody on, two away. Ooh. Swing and a miss, and he strikes him out on a changeup. That is the third strikeout for Lugo. Really doing a nice job once he's settled in. You get that first inning jitters out of the way, and after that, he's really been throwing the ball great. Swing and a miss, strikeout number eight in the ball game for five. Here's a high pop up on the infield, and Marte backing on in the outfield grass calls for it, the second baseman. And he makes the catch in a 1 2 3 inning for Fott. Here's a guy the Diamondbacks need to get going again, Perdomo. He's been slumping. Geraldo gets it in the air. 
Right field. Tatis at the wall, and it's gone. Geraldo Perdomo is sixth, and it's a one-run ball game. Oh, got a four-seam fastball straight as an arrow on that inside third of the plate, and he did not miss it that time. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. That's strikeout number four for Lugo, two down in the inning. I chopper out towards second base. Cronenworth will have to hurry, and he gets it there in time to end the inning. We played five in the desert, 3 2 now, Padres. Back to back base runners here with two outs and a sixth, and we'll see if that will be all for young Brandon Font. A walk and a single with two outs, and Toy Lavella will have to go to his bullpen. A nice job by Brandon today, settling down. Miguel Castro, his 54th appearance of the year. Two outs and two on. It worked to Hassan Kim. Got him! Miguel Castro strands two nicely done. They are three for 11 with runners in scoring position today, but 0 for their last five since that first inning. Jake Cronenworth will be the guy with two outs. On the ground, down the line at third, that goes into left field. Here comes Manny Machado. He will score, throw his head into second base, and it's an RBI double for Jake Cronenworth, and the Padres take a 4 2 lead. He didn't try to pull off this ball. Hits it down the third base line. That's a huge run for San Diego. Got something going with two outs and two more runners in scoring position. Bases full of Padres and two outs. Got him. Yeah. Padres tack on a run. They lead it 4 2. The Diamondbacks are looking for a big hit right here with a runner at second, one out, tying run of the plate. And Guriel is the Diamondbacks hitter. High fly ball. Left field. Laird is Guriel Jr. And we're tied. Well, Tori Lavello pushed the button, and Guriel connected. We tied off with one swing. And it looked like Guriel was waiting on something off speed, either the curveball or the changeup, and he got it. One out single for Walker. So Moreno off the injured list here today. He had been on the shelf with left shoulder inflammation. And reaches out, hits it fair into right field to base hit. Walker turning second, heading for third. Tatis throw is not in time, and down to second Moreno. Second and third with one man out of the inning. And they will give Peterson first base and put him on intentionally and work to Thomas with the bases full. Walker, Moreno, Peterson, third to first. Alec Thomas, center field. Grisham takes a base hit away. Here comes Walker. Moreno into third, and it's five to four. Alec Thomas with a go-ahead RBI. Tip your cap to Trent Grisham. He saves another run, or maybe two. The Diamondbacks get one, but it could have been worse. Padres down 5-4 here in the ninth inning. Cronenworth at first base with two outs. And it's a three and two count on Gary Sanchez. Cronenworth on the move. Swag and a miss! Seawold shuts the door, and the Diamondbacks win the series. Boy, did they need that one.